Peace and blessings. Oh my God, y'all, I could hardly, I'm, I'm excited. Like, yeah, I'm excited. I just got it not too long ago. I had an amazing day. Let me sit down, I forgot I could. Forgot I could sit down, wait a second. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, actually, I wanna put y'all in here. And hopefully this way will be better for the fashion show. I'm actually, a, I'm a little tired, you know. I went out after not really traveling hard too much in town for a you know for a minute so i'm a little tired i need some rest i need rest let me just get everything going i'm okay i gotta make sure okay i see where i am hold on y'all hold on okay let's see hold on babies okay so super <laughs> Ooh, my my tummy, my tummy. Let me tell you. So lately, you know, I've been fasting like straight up, mostly liquid fasting, and I had that wonderful, delicious meal. And I should have just had a salad, but I had that bread. And so, and same thing like yesterday, I had my fastina soup. So that food is all sitting on me. It's not about how well it is. Remember, breaking the fast, you got to do it sh slower. So I'm just having baby foods. If I can't chew it and it's not really liquid, I'm just going to go into soups, nothing else. I'm only doing soups because this is going to take a full till tomorrow to digest. It's just slow. So, yeah, that's a bummer. But can it really stop me? Can it really stop me? I don't think so. I want to wait for y'all. So Afro Central Home Decor, first of all, Midasi. Thank you so much, Midasi Pa, for being here. Uh, my Joe, my Joe is good evening for her to send. And, uh, oh, y'all, I mean, how many ways can I tell you I'm so excited? So I was inspired one day, and I pulled out my sketch pad. Like I, and this vanity that I'm sitting in right now, you can't see it, but I sketched this and like the, the, the uh, wardrobe, let me go back, the wardrobe, or some of us may say the armoire, I did not uh, sketch that. I just told them what I wanted. Uh, the bed, the bed, I did not sketch the bed. I just told them what I wanted. Um, but I got better after that. I thought it's the same, let me sketch stuff. So I sketched the vanity, which you see right here. I sketched this. So I sketched the vanity, came out to perfection. I sketched, never, no skills, no drawing skills, never a sketch ever in my life. I sketched these two pieces. So what I wanted to, what I realized, I see where my boutique is going, see how the universe has you going. It's really into tr true design mode. I mean, that's where we are. We are in true design mode. And so I sketched a robe because a bath, you know, a robe, not a bathrobe, mind you. I want to make this clear. You will not put this on after a bath. Wait till you see it. It is a very fancy robe. Uh, and I really got the idea was that a lot of times, like I said, being a woman, you know, in the house and service work men come to the house, service people, mostly men, only men. Uh, I, I don't want to get caught out there and don't have a robe like to put on. You know what I'm saying? But this robe, I just want to get you, I'm going, I want to get you ready for this robe. This is the debut. I am debuting my stuff. We didn't have a fashion show. We didn't have a fashion show. Okay. This robe is not just any robe. And the way I designed it, I feel like just like the, the videos and most of the stuff that I did, my po poems, I didn't write them. I didn't design them. I didn't, the universe did. Because the way that sketch came out, zoop, zoop, zoop. On that same day, I'm saying right after one after the other, I also designed my very own apron. And as I was designing it, it both of them came out so fancy, and I was just like, oh, okay, this is not really an apron for you to wear to get dirty. This is an apron that you you are serving in. This is this is as as Sharon Sharon she's so proud to say it's for the hostess with the mostest. Okay, you want to make a statement. Your guests are coming, or your guests are here, and you are coming out to serve your hors d'oeuvres. I need to get you ready for this, because we're going to do the apron first. And you want to serve hors d'oeuvres. Now, of course, yes, you want to cover your clothes as you may be in the kitchen, but you also want to make a statement when you walk out, and they'll be like, oh, girl, what? That is, what, is that an apron? What? Okay, and now it's a long apron. I, in my mind, I did design it long, but I didn't realize it, and I love it. Um, it's perfect because it really does cover all your clothes. So tradition, it's somewhat traditional. I designed it with some pockets, pockets on the sides, and pockets. The aprons that I've always received were lovely aprons, but they never had pockets. And I used to find I needed pockets, which is you know something to think about. 
and I also designed some zipper pockets up here. This piece, so the, the, the I think the greatest thing for a designer is to see your designs realized. And keep in mind that my my designer, her name is Esther. She is a designer herself, but she's also her seam, a seamstress. Oh my God, she got the vision. The only thing is, I forgot to ask. Like I said, this time when I sketch, I'm going to take pictures and send them the picture. If I show them the sketch in life, I want to keep my original sketches, y'all. That's the thing I got to learn. I'm new at this. So I have to keep my original sketches because that's these are my designs. You know what I'm saying? And why not? Uh, oh, no. Okay, good. Okay, good. I hope so. Wait, hold on one sec. Please hold, y'all. Okay, I don't know. I think so. So I am so excited. I am so excited to bring you this, even though, like, I need a little rest and, you know, all this stuff. Oh, my God, robe, y'all, to perfection. Like I said, things I would do differently is make sure I keep my designs because I this, um, this I produced this, um, what do you call this, this uh, vanity. I didn't keep the design. I gave it to the guy. These two, I didn't give it. I, I gave it to her, but it is my designs, and you are going to love it. This is so, I feel like crying. Oh, my God, I didn't know I come. I was, I, how did I come to Ghana to do this? what and i mean and true to me that's what i really like about it i'm designing robes you know house robes you know lounge robes if you want to call it fancy robes and aprons is that not afrocentric home decor and I, my lounge wear is coming next and i've got them sketches and i'm keeping them let me show you this we're gonna do it together oh wait it's in the other room And then I'm going to also show y'all my Ghanaian uh, funeral outfit that this is a this is a design that I picked from Esther that was actually that was actually in she has magazines of stuff and you can choose. Oh, oh, wait, I mean, are we getting the fullness of this? I got to have to move back. I don't even know what to do. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends to watch this right now. All right. I don't know. See, I did a landscape. Ooh, is this going to work for us? We're going to work it out, though. We're going to work it out because you need to see this design, these designs. It has the nerve to have a button on the neck. We can make adjustments, but let's put it on. And then you'll get it. Uh, don't play with me. Don't play with me with my people here. Okay, first thing, let's take that off. Because you need to let nothing spoil. Oh, my God, one day I'm going to have fashion shows with aprons and, and, and robes and loungewear and my own pew diddy, pajamas. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, hold, hold, what, wait, huh? What? Wait. I, you know, the strings. Oh, let's get it very long because I tend to actually like mine to go in the front. You may or may not. Now, there's two ways we can go with this. Because of the zippers, and I'll show you, I can go above it or below it. So I'm going to tie it here, okay? We're going to tie it here, and then we got to put my glasses on for this because I need to see if y'all getting the fullness of this. Okay, we're going to tie it here. Oh, that's what's going on. This is very important. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Let me get it together. Okay. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. Hold on, ladies. I see what I did. I see what I did. Hold on. Okay, some way that I'm not getting this here. So hold on, because I had it right before. Let's get what it is. Because this is not something you want to rush through. It's just that I'm a little, you know, I just gave birth, okay? And anyway, okay, let's... Okay, so now let's check out the details in this bad boy. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go lower. I had the nerve to put pockets in the apron. I did, I did, I did, I did it, y'all. I put pockets. Let's take this back. Let's move this back a bit. <laughs> oh, and what, what? This is freaking classy. This came out of me, y'all. I birthed this. Okay, we got to get that together and that. Okay. Okay, so I birthed this, y'all. I birthed this. Now, what is in the way? This. Let's move it. Y'all, y'all being with me? I'm too excited, so I'm a little like, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. And I think y'all can tell 
my exuberance and excitement. Uh, okay, oh, heck, what? Okay, wait, well, hey, let's move this even more. Y'all need to see nothing in your way. Y'all need to see this in its fullness, in its fullness. Hallelujah. What? What? Let's even move her. Move down. What? What? Let's see the back. Let's see the back. This is a, this is your apron. What? What? Who? What? Who? What? Where? <laughs> Forget you, Target. Who? What? Where? Okay, let me show you our pockets. So then we have the other features because when I'm doing stuff, sometimes I keep my this pockets in here, a zipper pocket in here, and a zipper pocket in here as well. Because y'all, when I do, when I used to wear my apron, sometimes I forgot I had it on and I would be around the house cleaning and tidying up. And you know how you find little stuff? I designed it as that. This is what I, I asked for. I designed it, y'all. This is my stuff. This is the button in the back. We can do some different things for y'all because we should probably just have the string in the back. I designed this. Wait, 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 let me just get a chance. Oh, it's so me, it's so me. And then that's, that's you know, let's just, like she, what? Okay, so y'all can see, so I, I asked for the little flowery thingies on the side, so you can see the basic. I add this, everything, this is down to, I just, only thing I told her, you get to choose, you get to choose the fabric, because she's excellent at choosing fabrics. Take that down, put it back here. Wait a second, hold up, wait a minute, and pockets. Um, do you want to have this for your next party, your gathering, or god dang it, just the way around the house? Do y'all love it? Because I love it. I gotta get to her. Oh my god! Oh! Woo! This a high, like I can't, I, I, yo, yo, <laughs> yo. Okay, okay, let me, let me calm down. Calm down, calm down. Oh, my apron in all fabrics. I said an original, can't nobody say they have this one. Have you ever seen an apron like this? I know you didn't, because nobody got one like this. Inside has the inner lining, just so you can see. And this is just one color and pattern. Okay, now we're gonna go to the robe. Let me just get some, I gotta get some. Right, woo, woo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. All right, y'all. All right, let's go to the robe. Now, the robe has some things that I told her that we're going to fix. First of all, you never want to, you don't want to have to hop into your robe. So I told her that because I told her to keep it open on the bottom, but that's okay. She forgot or whatever. Don't even worry about it. Let me show you this bad robe. Let me show you this bad robe. Afrocentric home decor, and your someone just said, I don't wear aprons, honey. Like the sister said, is it really an apron? I mean, maybe you just want to throw it on when people come because it's funky. I mean, I could see it with some jeans, but I, I made it to be an apron. Check this out right here, okay? Check this out. So it has buttons, but let's just say we don't button. Oh, wait. Let's just say we don't button it. That would be we could. And then I, this is designed to perfection, to exactly what I want. This is a robe. This is a house robe. Yes, this is a robe. And I, can y'all see the tear? I wanted this exactly. It has two tier. You can see it down the bottom. Two tier. But I wanted her to completely open it. So it would be open. Just completely open. Now, I love the buttons. The buttons could be, wait, let's just get the detail. What? Who, what? Okay, detail. If so, some of y'all saw it originally when it was in one of my classes. Look at the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. Again, I asked for the little ruffles here. We know, we know I got pockets. Oh, and it has a nerve to be patch patch. Do you notice? The patch patch. We have pockets. Oh yeah, we have pockets. We have pockets, but see, 
I need her to open it up in the, in the front so you can have that drama too. But yes, if you wanted to, you could buy. I designed it with buttons. I'm thinking why, but I that's what came. So that's what I did. So let's just go all the way with it and not even play. This is a, I mean, this is a bathrobe. I think anybody, not a bathrobe, but a robe that you can wear. A robe to go to the door, but a robe when you're cooling your house. And also a robe when you're cooling your house. Also a robe for, uh, to me, just this look cute. I just want to look at myself at my desk with my, with my hot tea and my robe. This is inspiring. This is gifts for your family. This is the dopeness. This is so freaking dope. I just want to do it properly. I'm going to do it properly. Let's just close all of them up. I designed this. I'm a designer. It don't even matter what nobody say. Y'all could not like it or not. I love it enough for everybody, but the ones that will gravitate to it will get it. Oh my gosh. And then let's the, the belt, because it's a robe, and we want to close the robe, okay? And of course, it's made to fit me. With the tear on the bottom, you see, I want this completely, this, from here, here, I'm gonna do that other button. Hold on. From here to the bottom, of the button, I just want it open. She can put another button even on the bottom, but I want it open. So we talked about it, and she's gonna redo it for the, the, the uh, line. Is that not classy? I mean, that, that is as classy as any, look at the back, look at the back, look at the back. It's funny, when I was designing this, I was totally thinking, believe it or not, yes, I was thinking Joan Crawford. I was thinking Joan, because I told her I wanted padded shoulders. So I, had, I, I was feeling that Joan Crawford feel. I wanted the little, th what? Huh, look at the back, look at the back. Huh? Is that not the tear with the little feminine thing? And look how lovely it fits. And it's warm. This is a warm one. Like, this is probably actually, in some cases, it may be even more warm for Africa, but it won't be too warm for the States or, or for the Europe. Hey. But even for the, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If y'all can't see it, I, I don't know. It's okay. If you don't see it, it's okay. But God dang it, I see it. God dang it, I did that. I don't care what nobody say. What? Let me get y'all comments. OMG. Wow. And look how good it looks with the haircut. You got your little necklace you can still wear. How feminine is that? Look at the sleeves. I designed it. This is my, this is my total design. Total design. Total design. All right, y'all. Take a breath. Let's see. Edith says, hey. Maya says, I'm excited. Lisa, hey, hey. Joanne says, hey, Lisa, exciting that you have your designs in, in sweet. Thank you. Shalom says, hey, but, but yeah, future. Ready for it? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, fashion work from here. Yes, vulnerable majesty. Simple living. Hello, Lisa and Chad. Hello. It's good to catch you live. Thank you. Uh, she says, okay, says, I need that scarf, the lipstick, and the nails. Thank you. Drum roll, please. Yes, as high, simple living. Okay, hey, y'all, give the, that greetings. How are you? Yeah, yes, Sean DeAilo. Sean DeAilo. Thank you so much. And thank you for that wonderful donation you sent through PayPal. Y'all only send through PayPal. Do not, I repeat, do not send through Cash App anything to me because Cash App has been hacked. Do not send only to PayPal. I'm going to get rid of Cash App for good. Like I said, you're only going to get me once. You won't be getting me twice. We're not going to do that. Okay, hold on. Uh, says pretty. Uh, I'm doing well. I pray you are too. Okay. Maya says pretty. Love the colors. Thank you. I should have written. Okay. Trey, she turned that funeral into a runway. Oh wait, we we didn't even do the funeral alpha yet. Hold on with that one. How cute is this? You can't. You could even wear this out at a, a dress at night. Yes, you could. Too cute, says Bob. Yeah, thank you. That's very fancy and pretty apron. Pockets, I love it. Although I am not an apron person, I would buy one just to be cute when I'm cooking to have guests. Yes, that's it, Joanne. You 
got it. You got the feel. That's how I designed it at Joanne, the hurricane downgrade to tropical storm. Oh, yes, that's right. How are you? Thank you for asking. You're so good, sisters. Kalea, hey, sister. Wow, the apron is stunning. Me, Don, see. So nice, the apron. Thank you, Fuchsia. Edith says, I love it. Thank you. I love how excited you get. Thank you, Zumba Queen 7. Very fancy apron. Yes, Kalea. Christian Jackson, hey, Lisa, this is so cute. I love it. Have a blessed day from one lead to another. You too, darling. This would be a dope design for an upscale Ghana server in a restaurant or spa service spot too. That's right. And it's now, now, uh, Zumba, did you hear what Naturally Clever said? It goes with your vision. Naturally Clever, you said something that uh, Zumba sent me a vision that she had for me. And I'm going to read it again. It says, this would be a dope design for an upscale Ghana server in a restaurant or spa service spot. She just said it. She just said it. I mean, thank you for that, Midasi. Now, that's an apron I love. Yes, Maya visuals. Five say, oh my God, I want that in a, in a whole dress. It, it is pretty. Simply living these hurricanes are something else. We got a bit of in the D.C. Glad it's been downgraded. I'm so glad. Lisa is so talented. Thank you, everybody. Show us the funeral dress. I will. I'm getting there. Can we, can we enjoy this for just a hot second, please? Laugh aloud. Who, what, what? We're high. This is so you. So proud of you, me, Darcy. Kalei says, I can feel your excitement as, as I thought was me. Oh, I thought it was me. Oh, thank you. Lisa, this is very unique design for an apron. Really, really nice. Ready to purchase it as I can see my thick body in that outfit like that. Just add a back to it. Beautiful. I love it. Well, you know what? The, the, even the aprons, everything's coming in, you know, different sizes. Well, small, medium, and large. So don't, don't, don't fret on that. But I hear you. It could be a whole dress. It could be a totally whole dress. But who, this is what I'm saying. We've seen some of the most magnificent, I have at least, African dresses you could ever see. Who's seen an apron like this? Who's seen, this is, my thing is Afrocentric home designs. Who's seen a, a robe like this? Like that, that's when you're doing something. I love the house robe. Yes, the house robe. That was the word, the house. Fusion says, I love the house dress and fabric. Thank you, robe. Thank you. Love the robe. Yes, the pieces are regal. Thank you, Eric Voss. Thank you, Kalea. Kalea, can you make one with bell shelves? shelves? Uh, uh, sleeves. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me think if I want to, because you know your designs is kind of your design, so you hope people just buy what you have. But we'll see. The robe is beautiful too. I would also want to see it on a plus size woman too. Nice design. Absolutely, you sure would. Oh, but it would work well. I can see it. But yes, Clay, I would like my robe with bell sleeves also. Oh yeah, y'all. Okay, we'll talk about how that works. Miss T, baby, cute. Thank you. Hey, Joanne. Yes, very cute. I love a puff shoulder too. Yes. Mutable Mercury, thank you for that love. Thank you for that love. Both of them says Mutable. Similar says Beautiful. I put heels on and call it a day in the house with that beautiful robe. Yes, ma'am. Both of them, thank you. Dr. LaRonda, beautiful creations. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Miss Blue Love says, you did this big, sis. Thank you. They are bomb. Thank you, Mutable Mercury. Tony says, hey, Lisa Marie, oh my God, your, design, your designer, you, you designer, you love them both. Thank you, Tony. Chic. Thank you, Mutable. Lisa John says, Lisa, I think most of us see it. The robe is beautiful, especially when your seamstress makes the corrections but open it up. I will definitely purchase a couple when your website goes up. Thank you, darling. Diane Carroll, you mean. Oh, it's so Diane Carroll. It's so Diane Carroll. That's right. I think she did this too. Yes, that 40 style is it. Hey, hello, Lisa. That's right. You're like, hey, just jumped on. Is that your birthday dress? No, honey. This is my robe. This is my house robe. I'm going to show you again. Yes. She says, very Joan Crawford and Madame too. Yes. Cece says, I heard somebody else got hit through cash. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Don't donate through Cash App. Don't. They are terrible right now. But let me show you again for those that just got on. So this actually is a, I call it a, house, a fancy house robe. But it really, it is, I mean, I feel like it's not, I mean, look at the glasses, the hair. I mean, what? What? It could be a dress, but, so let me say this to y'all with creations. And thank you, y'all. Listen, y'all, it's going to be, if I, hmm. so as a designer, I don't know how other designers are. I don't, but I just know how I am. Um, I said what I said. So I said what I said with my piece. So to me, to take it and do it more like it, then it's not my piece, it's your piece. Do you understand, y'all? It's, it's not a, a this. I'm trying to be gentle. If, if I change it and do it and this, it's your piece. This is the way I saw it. This is my contribution. This is my piece of art. Can you imagine if you had sort of art piece and you said to the person, can you, instead of the blue sky, can you make it yellow? Like, I mean, it, it, but I did it already. 
it's what I saw. And it's only going to be for people that want it as is. Yes, we're going to definitely make it a bigger style. She, she, it's made to fit my body. You can all see that. It's custom. So I, the other ones will be a little more, you know, roomy and other of things of that nature. A robe, a house robe is not for everybody, but it might be. We all get cold. We all want to look fancy. We all want to look beautiful. Y'all know I'm about, wait till the loungewear come. So you already know, who's doing that? Who's doing Afrocentric robes? I mean, aprons, yes, but I don't know if I even saw it this way. Who's doing Afrocentric robes? Who's doing Afrocentric loungewear? I'm staying true to what we talk about. I believe, I have no house loungewear. I have none, because it's all was given away and left at the last house. I always had clothes that I never wear outside. I only would. I do like the idea you said that it could be a dress, but on that note, if you think about it, start going looking at African stuff. You've seen some dope African dresses. Not that this couldn't be, but everybody does that. I mean, we're in Leo season. Leo's about doing your thing. Who does a dress as a robe? But anyway, y'all figure it out. I said, well, those that don't get it will be like, hey, but the rest, it's okay if you don't. It's okay if you don't like it. It's okay if you even want it to be something else. But for me, I'm, I'm, woo! I can't even tell y'all. It came out exactly the way I want. Like I said, we're just going to open it up and just. But thank you for those that just got it. That's fine. For everybody else, that's fine too. Like, do your thing. Uh-uh, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. Like, this is the most miraculous. This is the most, I didn't come here to do this, yet it's being done. So for those that just came on, this is my Afrocentric house robe. This is my house robe. This is the back. Of course, we use the patch patch. It has pockets as well. The sleeves are what the sleeves are, exactly what I asked for. Oh my God, and I, I love that she made them a little short, like here, because when you, if you do use it to, like you're washing the dishes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, y'all, I created this. What? Oh, look at the bottom, just like I said, we'll just have her open it up, small thing. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm sorry, maybe I should've just took time to play with it myself. Wow, like that's all I can tell y'all. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put the uh the apron back on. And yeah, I love what Joanne said. Even if you're not into aprons, you just wear it when your friends come or to serve or whatever. Y'all you know me, I'm very into aprons. You know what Zumba? Uh Zumba, exactly what you said. I, it's already coming true. Zumba gave me a vision and this is not, I don't know if we're going to just be selling this on YouTube. I think I love what Naturally Clever said. I can see that Naturally Clever. I can see that, what you said. There's a, there's a, few, a, a few upscale African restaurants here that would yeah, love that apron. And I mean, just you saying it, wow. Like, wow. Like, and yeah. So give thanks and praises. But y'all, I got to stay true. If it changes, it ain't me. If I change one detail, it's not me. It's my contribution to the world. But I know, that's why this is Afrocentric home decor and style and spiritual and all that other good stuff. So, so like I said, yeah, I mean, I'm going to make it make sure, like you said, especially when, wait till we have the bottom open. This way, if you don't want to use, because like you said, it could be a dress or it could be a coat or it could be a jacket. So I think the buttons will be nice. But if you didn't want to use the buttons at all, I want to be able for you to be able to, you know, fold it over, fold it over, even like this. Be able to fold it like we do, because most likely we're not going to be buttoned up unless we're going to keep it on because it's cold. But I want you to be able to fold it over too, so you don't even have to deal with the buttons if you don't want to. And for those that say yes, you could, you literally could run outside if you had to, and no one. Absolutely no one would know that, you know, this is your robe. But this is my garment, y'all. Fashion show for home. Mm, I don't know what to say. Okay, for those who just tuning in, that was the robe. Let's go back to the apron. This is all my design. That's all I can say. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just taking I just wanted to share it with y'all because y'all been here for the long haul. So I want to say thank you for that. 
Yeah, yeah, y'all. If y'all could, if you could, probably uh, you don't know. I know you don't know. Uh, you, um, yeah. If you, yeah, just hey, you know, like it or not like it. It's all good. Okay, so this is the this is the this is the apron, y'all. This is the funky apron. There's a button here. I'm considering just making a tie and not doing the button just for unless somebody wants it just for because it'll be easier. It has pockets here. It has pockets here. Tie, and then it has pockets right here. They have a zipper here. A zipper here. And then a zipper here as well. And yes, and I, I designed this, y'all. You can see the back. What? And yes, it does. It looks, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. It looks like a dress too. But it's fancy and it's beautiful and it's just stunning. Stunning. This is my design, y'all. This is my baby. Y'all, it's like, I know you don't mean to, but I want to give you a little analogy. It's like saying, you know, that baby is cute, but can you uh, change the lips? I mean, because that's how you feel as a designer. You feel like you birthed this. So somebody changing the lips or the, or the hair, it would just be, you know, it really is a birth. Y'all. I just got to catch my own breath. Wow. It's, I think maybe it's the Samoa Masha. The look how the, the skin comes. Oh, Lord, this damn thing. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I came here for what? I came here for two weeks for to go on vacation. And now I'm designing my own original pieces. It's, it's, a, it's a feeling I, I can't even explain. Yes, I want one. Never had an apron. Thank you. Elena says, apron, I want. Yes, uh, uh, hit the like button. Says, yes, thank you. Thank you. Functional yet versatile. Your apron, thank you. Pockets too. Oh, man, yes, pockets too. Wow, I love the apron too. Thank you, Jewel. Oh, that is cute. That apron is bad, hunting. Thank you. That apron is beautiful. Thank you, Porter Beauty. Lisa, there's a lot of love and positive vibrations here for you. Thank you, Kalea. You are beautiful. So, that's right, and I feel it inside out. Thank you. Shooky Kane and the Cosmic Goddess. Yes, great design, Lisa Marie. Me, me Darcy, absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful, Mr. Racy. Yes, love them. It's amazing. You are just flowing. Thank you, Adrian. Adrian, you got the message. Just hit the link, honey, and you'll be right. You'll, we'll get you in. How long can the robes be made? How long? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. So let's, let me think about those details and keep asking questions like this because it's going to make me think about it when I go back into the, the, the sewing room, okay? When I get to my seamstress. Please do. I'm a little like you. I need mine to fit like you, Mrs. Yes, for sure. I understand. We understand. Beautiful. Thank you. I totally get that regarding that it's your design. Yes. Yes, I understand it's your design and it is what it is. But thank you still. Uh, y'all, I'm so happy. Like, I, I ain't mad at you. I love y'all. Like, I love y'all. We are all learning together. We are all growing together. This is all new for all of us. So it's all good. Like, I really mean, like, do you understand you ever had something happen to you? It's like birthing your baby can't nothing make you feel sad. So we are learning together. Thank you. I heard somebody else got, oh, yes. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, now I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I'm going to show y'all, because you know I'm going to be going to bed like a kid. Like, look at this. This is so me. This is so me. Yes, please wait. I'm exhaling. Aha, yes, Lisa, I love these. You're going full out. Ghana Vogue. Ghana Vogue. Ghana Vogue on the goddamn apron and the, and, and the goddamn the, the robe. What? But you know what? I'm going to tell y'all as a designer, and other designers may share this as well. As a designer, it's, having that good seamstress is everything. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Yes, thank you, Sanal. Please show the uh, thumbs up the video. Honey, as a designer, the, the, she saw the vision and she, what? The lining. Okay, let me show you the funeral outfit because it is absolutely stunning. It is stunning. It's, you know, it's like I always say the funeral outfit, you know, it's kind of like bittersweet, right? I mean, yes, it's stunning, but, you know, it's stunning. Like, it's a funeral, so. Ugh. You know when you wear it, what it's going to be about. See, I know I can't get it over my hips, so why did I even try? And then we got to hope that I could. Of course, remember y'all too, it's custom. And we're going to pray, and I mean pray, that I can get the zipper up. Okay. All right. 
Nope. See, they helped me before, so, so that was a whole nother level. Y'all bear with me, please. Okay. It has lining as well. So I always mention that because when they make you something with lining, they charge more. And for y'all in the diaspora, it's going to be great. Now, how the heck if we're going to zip this? Let's see, y'all pray. I so many of my designs, you should see me in here, not my designs, but when I buy clothes, especially in other designs, you should see me in here trying to zip them. It's quite funny. Let me see, I go one more notch. Yeah. Okay, I should be able to catch it now. Hold on, ladies. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, so let's make sure we get that yellow dress down. Okay, so I'll show you better. Okay, hold on. So this is the top, and the lighting is not showing the top as beautiful as it is. Now remember, this is the fabric that the Ghanaians use. You're saying a real genuine thing. You actually have to go to a special place to actually get the fabric. So this is the uh, fabric that they use. It's called, it's called the what? Wax print? Yes. So it's heavy. So it's the wax print, okay, and it's, it's of course, it's custom. Don't forget that part. It's custom, and then I got another piece, which could be a heavy, which is extra, because it was three yards. I thought, I kept looking at myself going, I'm too little for three, I don't think I need three yards for one outfit, but I got a lot of material left, and I'm gonna tell her to do some things with the other one. So, let me just, I'm sorry, I'm really trying, <laughs> trying to get this for you guys. But yeah, this is the funeral outfit, so it has the bow here, and then it has the bow going down here, and as you can see, it has a split in the middle. And I'll show you the back. The back is a nice neckline in the back. So we have this. So this is for the funeral, y'all. What? I mean, I, I mean, I wanted to, you know, model it at the same time. It's like it's for the funeral, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, wow. And then this is what's was left over. And so I'm thinking, this is here. It's not, this can be a head wrap. This could be, I thought it was a blanket. I said a blanket. It's a goddamn blanket. But I'm going to tell her to be a little more specific with this. I'm going to ask her, I know, I know, either make me, I, you know what, I'm probably going to design a funky cape. I can see that I might design a funky cape. I definitely want some of it to be a head wrap. I want a head wrap. So, but I'll design something funky, maybe like a shawl. But I, I want her to cut it more into a shawl. I think a shawl would be nice. So this is the funeral outfit. And you know, the other part that I, I have to wear it, you know? And that's, like I said, the, this one was a hard one because you want to love it. You want to say it's dope at the same time. But they make it and they make it pretty because you know it's Africa. So, so this is, so when you go to my seamstress, Esther, I'm, I'm going to get a little, we're going to do some lighting better here, I promise. I'm going to take this off. We'll just chit chat for a little while. When you, oh, my earring piece, I got to watch that. When you go to Esther, she has magazines. Oh, it's so pretty. Though. It is really pretty. She has magazines and she, you can choose. It's not her fashion, it's just fashion out there. And so I chose, as soon as I saw this design, it was in a not in funeral pattern, I said, oh, I want it, because she asked me what I want for the funeral after I gave her the fabric. And so I, I actually love it. She customs very nicely, like her, her, her design. Everybody can't sew who they say they can. And I mean, and, you know, in Ghana. So I mean, when you, it's not like we find it. There's a lot of people, they are the most, the dopest sewers ever, but don't go to everybody, you know? Go to your tried and true. So she is my tried and true. I feel like a Ghana woman, like what? Okay, so now it has the elastic waist. So that's always good because it helps, you know, you, you want to grow with it. You can't tell me get big or something. Beautiful piece of work, huh? Great job. Oh, my fashion. Oh my gosh, what a whole line of, wait till you'll see the loungewear. I, I, I got the sketches, I just didn't uh, give it to her yet, because you know, I had to test her out, okay? 
Test this out. Because I got stuck in here. That'd be a real mess. Okay, good. Yes. Woo, we got through that. Oh, my gosh. I designed my own stuff. How dope is that? What? Okay, y'all. So, I'm moving stuff first. So, hold on. We are going to get comfy. Is this fan? What is this fan? Is this fan can't be on five. I'm hot. Oh, it's all the movement, huh? All right. Whew. Um, ladies, <laughs> we got some fashion going on here. And so, yeah. Oh, somebody like the head wrap. The head wrap is actually Esther. I like, I'm going to put it right here. I like the head wrap so much as well that I ordered some more uh, in different fabrics and i'll show you well let me tell you because i want to talk about these head wraps they will be on the site the other head wraps i had in the states were perfect for the states because they were heavy heavier these are light as a feather light as a feather so not heavy as heavy as my other ones and uh, she got the nose mask. I don't need the nose mask because I uh, I wear the, the, the shield. And I, I actually, I've so, the shield has saved my life and my relationship with Kwame. So today, how I had it worn was simply this way. Simply this way. And that was it. And uh, I actually, I had it, you know, tied in the back, but. Right now, this is what we got, but I'm gonna take it off because it's easy to put my glasses on, but you can see that these are stunning. So I ordered two, and I got this one and one from yesterday, more green, and I, um, I ordered two more different fabrics. Her fabric choices, Esther's fabric choices are so dope. Oh y'all, let me take a break. Like the hair, like, oh my God. Do you understand like what I'm going, like I'm feeling right now? Yep. Did anybody see this coming? Y'all probably say, yeah, we did, girl. We know what you, what you, what you, what you didn't know. You come to a place for two weeks. I can just cry. Like, you come to a place for two weeks, and you come on a make. Well, you can't, you plan for two weeks. I came on the 9th. I think that 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think that five to seven days later, it wasn't much, they shut the country borders down. But before that, I already knew I was staying. Now, I still didn't know, and thank you for the nails, because I love these nails. I still didn't know that I was going to be this designer. I don't even know. Do you ever remember the day that I said I'm going to design some stuff? I, I don't even, like, this is how it happened. I know, because, no, no, I, you know what it was? Yes. I came with a designer, and she was working with Quasi's sister, Joyce, who was actually stunning. I'm going to give it to Goddess trained her well and she is great she's a great seamstress it's goddess gotta get that all to goddess on that i remember goddess had her designs but you know what's so spiritual y'all it was cold joe i because you know we would ride around with her all day i mean we would get up about we would leave the house around eight get to the you know to get to the uh i'm gonna say studio the seamstress at nine and all day we'd be going back and forth to marco la for the fabric we be going back, we be in there. So she, so I learned a lot watching her. But you don't know that you, you think you just watching, and just enjoying somebody else get happy. And what I said is, like I said, I love God's designs, but they're not my design because they don't. My body is very tiny, it's somewhat small, but shapely. You know, it's a difference. I need to, but I, I still love her design. Designs are dope, absolutely. Dope. I ain't taking nothing from that sister and her designs. But I still didn't know. I still wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm going to design too. I was not thinking that. But it was cold, Joe. He said, so yes, you know, I know that you want to do things too. And I can see that you're a designer too. I I, I want to say, you could? I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, oh, oh, okay. And he said, you want to do the same, right? And I was like, yes. I just said yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. But what he said was, because I had my own style, like I was wearing my clothes, we was going to art center. I mean, I guess y'all could see I'm a designer too. I mean, like probably it's more obvious to y'all than me. And my mother was a designer. My daughter is a designer, but she's more into the graphic designing and she's more into uh, like really like creating novels or comic books and stuff of that nature. But she, that's what she just got her degree in, in design. And I still didn't know. I still didn't know that all that was in me, but the divine knew, the most high knew. So yes, 
Africa was waiting for you. Yes, Zumba Queen 7, it was waiting for me. You're right, this is couture, this is Vogue, but it's, a, it's, a, but it's, it's true to the Afrocentric home designs. It is true to it. The robe, the, the, the robe, as I said, not a bathrobe. This is clearly not a bathrobe. This is the, you know, the house robe and the apron. And I mean, like, I really thought out the box with that. But y'all, when I was right, when I was doing the sketching, which again, never did before, it did itself. It wasn't no thought out. I didn't go back a hundred times. My daughter in there has paid thousands of dollars to learn how to sketch and then put on the computer and then go harder and do this. She was telling me all that. She said, Mom, yeah, it's nice. Your sketches are nice, but I hope somebody can see it press harder. And, you know, maybe you should do this and this and that. Honey, I, everybody I gave a sketch to got it. It must be that clear. I'm just trying to inspire somebody tonight, inspire somebody to say, you might be waiting for the degree, you might be waiting for the accolades, you might be waiting for somebody to call you, but you might be ready now. I, I, I mean, to sit here is still surreal for me. And then, naturally clever, I mean, because me and Zumba, Zumba, you, come on, you just said this. To think that, yes, it's not going to even always be about just, I mean, y'all going to get the designs. Y'all going to love the designs. Y'all going to buy the designs. I mean, I want y'all because we are family and we've been doing this together. But the idea to think outside the box that, yes, there is a wonderful, I went to the restaurant. And the women dressed in the African kente, but it, it was kente cloth, but it, you know, not real kente cloth, it was print. But it actually, no offense, it, the designing could have been better. This right here. I mean, this sister that got this restaurant, I'm trying to tell you, like when you said it, I, I know another one too. And then the robes, I mean, oh my God, the robes are just bad. I'm thinking about some of these more wealthy as Ghanaians, they would love to lounge in that, and that'd be, that'd be a statement piece. That's what I'm saying for me, because it's not a dress, it's more unique. Uh, maybe I've been around African clothes too much and for a long time, and of course, don't you think that's it? The sister I asked, uh, Nishona, her brand from Tanzania, she, I was with her. I, she talked about design, how, you know, I was always with designers. Then I met, started buying goddess clothes, but I've been around so many beautiful gowns. As a matter of fact, I just gave all of them away. Beautiful gowns, even seeing it on you know, Facebook or different places. So that's why it's so dope, because it's not a gown. Like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow, because it'll be cooler in the morning, too. And I'm going to have my tea, and I'm going to put on my robe, and I'm going to remember that I'm beautiful. It's a sense of elegance and a sense of beauty, so that you don't feel like, oh, I got my little drab robe on. You put that robe on, you're going to look like a diva right away. Or at least you're going to think about it. You might be like, let me put my hair up a little bit. Okay, let me put a little, maybe some gloss on my lips. I love loungewear. So the loungewear, the loungewear. I just want to cry because the loungewear that I designed is off the chain. Off the chain. And I would like straight pajamas, but this material we'll have to see. So that's why I'm going more for loungewear. And, and who knows what else is coming. I know that I really want some Afrocentric slippers. So I definitely want, but I don't want them to look all like, like you know, you slopping around, you know what I'm saying? Sloshing around in them big old, no, 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 no. These slippers, these slippers right here, I don't know, it didn't come out yet, but they coming. I just gotta take a minute. I just created something that's amazing for me. So thank you, ladies. Thank you for the support. Ladies, please know, do not send anything through Cash App. Cash App has been hacked, and people lose a good amount of money. So do not send your donations through Cash App. Only send them to PayPal. I will take all the Cash App links on as, off as many videos as I can. I ain't dealing with them, never. They ain't getting another chance. And all the stuff, the most people got some stock, I got, you know, a lot, but that's my money. That part wasn't hacked, and most of the money wasn't hacked. Just a few, something, you know, kakla, kakla, something small, small, and I'm thankful for that. Y'all, when I was sitting in that, that uh, seamstress waiting for her, because she was out, me and Kwame, I mean, I was so good. Like, you couldn't tell me that. I was so, I mean, even the hacking, like, it wasn't nice, but I was so, like, I just birthed this. And I didn't see it, y'all. I saw it was the funeral outfit. She had the other one put away. She has a wonderful shop. She employs young girls. 
and these sisters can sew under her. I mean, the, the, do you see her attention to detail? You don't always get this kind of quality. That's what I'm saying. So, it, it, y'all, we all, it's all divine. It's all divine. It's all divine. You're supposed to meet the people, supposed to meet Kwame, Kwame. That dark, Kwame is, Kwame just came back from the village, so Kwame's in a whole nother spiritual realm right now. His energy is very, very beautiful. Isn't that funny? We can talk about the other one. You getting, you getting healed and so is he. His energy is beautiful. That, that five days or four days in the village is amazing. But Kwame said he saw her at, I, I think it was a function or something at the art center. And uh, he saw her stuff. You know, Kwame got the eye. He was like, sister, you can sew. And he said, I'd like to get your contact. Because, you know, he deals with other vendors. So right now he ain't dealing with no other vendors because ain't nobody, all the people that he vending that, I mean, not vendors, but that he uh, supplies is abroad. And there you go. And he said, I got a seamstress for us. She's bad. Everybody he ever showed me. Everybody he ever showed me. So I think I give thanks to Kwame. Kwame has, is a beautiful human being. But it's so amazing that the divine is always with us. Kwame was at that village and Kwame is chilled. I mean, he's always a chill guy, but it's just something. There's something there for us, for sure. A great connection. So let me get these and then I'm going to go to bed because that bread is working on my tummy like nobody business. But I learned I'm eating the lightest food when we go to Cape Coast. I'm drinking, I'm going to drink mostly drinks and have soups, but I'm going to tell them how to prepare it because I can't do all the oily soups and stuff that make my stomach hurt too. Oh, did that come open? Okay, yes. And y'all, it's not here, but my bag was broken and the, a Senegalese brother fixed that hippie bag that we all love so much. Yes, and look at my hair looking so white. Isn't it pretty? The white is just right. Oh my God, the white is right. It's so white. I love it. I love it. I'm like I'm getting what I want anyway. And that goldish part would be where the black is coming back, and that's going to be beautiful as well. Okay, so let me get the next ones and just say thank you. So please donate. Just use PayPal. I know it's the birthday you want to donate. Just use PayPal. F Cash App. Okay, Zuma says, designs to make any woman feel like an African queen wherever they are. Yes, ma'am, honey. Is that, that is the tagline. Isn't a perfect one? Thank you. Wherever they are. Yes. Like a queen wherever they are. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. Thank you. You are a creatrix. Thank you, Arabas. Monique's room, eat to live. Hey, TV. You roll, your role ride has been so intriguing. It's clear it's your calling. I am always ready. I jump out on faith all the time. Otherwise, I will never know my worth. Go ahead, Queen. Sanaf says, the motherland is awakening the creativity and innovation with you. You know what? You're absolutely right. That's what's going on. Africa was waiting for you. That one right there, too. You're right, Poetic Beauty 7. You knew you, you, knew you that, your, that revelations were about to be birthed when you were at the airport hotel. That's right. Y'all got it. You pressed through all of the adversity to get to your blessings, Queen. Yes. It started with the furniture. You right, CC. And it's all the designs, because the furniture's still here. Furniture's still here. Oh, we got more furniture. We got, fr we got so much designs coming. Head wraps, me, me, me. How soon? Uh, I don't know. That's another thing. When will you be selling your designs? Good. Cece says the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on that. Thank you. That reminds me of Miss Kitty from Gunsmoke. She was a stylist woman. I love the sleeves. That's right. Be sure to like the video. Thank you, Sonar. Very beautifully. So thank you, Edith. Very beautiful. I like how the bow was added. The bow was so, oh, yes, on the funeral outfit. Yes. Oh, yes. I love red and black. That's cute. It looks li like leather. It does quay, doesn't it? Imagine being served by someone wearing that apron. It would ele elevate the experience for me. Yes, that would me too, right? That's bomb. Thank you. I think I would wear it out. It's functional for errands and to, to, br uh, to brag from uh, Accra, Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. Be sure to thumbs up. Thank you, Sanal. Thank you, everybody. Please wait. Okay, so let's ask about designs. Now more than ever, I know. I can't say when all of it's going to be available. And it's time. You know, it was Zumba Queen right away. She was like, listen. And it was Sage Advice. She was like, hey, take your time. Don't rush this boutique. Because I like what she said. If something go wrong, they'll be sending that stuff back to you. You'll be having a headache, and I love it. I love that, but I, I realize now, when I saw the, the vanity, it came to me, but when I saw these two pieces, 
it was clear to me that the boutique has to be very special. It can't just be like anything, and it can't just be rushed. Like the boutique has to be very special. It is very, very clear to me. I need time to create more pieces that's coming out of me. I'm really not in a rush. And that's the only thing I can say is I don't know. I just, it's a process, y'all. I know it's like, oh, she got it, let's sell it right now. I do, but I, I, I mean, I got more and I got some things I wanna fix, of course, but so I don't know. Agree with the sister to take your time. Yes, beautiful designs. Yes, it has to. I'm taking my time. Like more than ever, I, I understand. I understand. Y'all, I don't know. Yeah, I got to take my time for sure, for sure. I don't know. The right time, it will be revealed. You can see how just like everything else is. It will be revealed just like everything else is. It's that simple. It will be revealed. It will. I will know. Y'all will know. We will know. Yes. Yes. You will know. I will know. Fly books. Exactly. I will know. I mean, this is a whole nother like high for me, and I need to like absorb it for a while too. Oh wow. I mean, like that came out of me. What? Wow. And it just showed you at 52, almost 53. You don't never know. You ain't done yet, y'all. You are not done yet. You can't be when you are 53, you, come, you are, became a designer and didn't even know. Like I said, I'm sitting here silly looking in one direction like, why he ain't calling me? Why she ain't? Oh my God, I can laugh now. Ain't spirit beautiful? Spirit like, girl, what you got, you looking in the wrong directions. There is other means. And this stuff here is so unique and, and different, I think, especially nobody's thinking about funky aprons or funky, there are a few, I think, and funky, uh, you know, kind of robes in that way that I think, yeah, the opening is going to be good. So I revealed my beautiful designs. Uh, I posted on IG a post that we have to let go of the idea that life stops. Yes, there you go. I'm, I'm a great example of it, isn't it? You are not done yet. I am 50 years. That's right. Thank you for that. What, you're not done yet. How did how that happen? How, how that happen? There ain't seen no plan. It was like I was trying to design and bust into the design world for so long. I, I ain't got that story. And y'all watch me. Like, this is why I love this YouTube. Everything is documented. So next thing I got to figure out is, because, you know, you know, the thieves will be coming. The thieves will be coming. I gotta, I gotta talk to some folks and lawyers or whoever to make sure that my designs remain my designs. Ooh wee. Ooh, that was what. And then, like I told her, and that's like I said, a true collaboration because I told her that I wanted to let her pick it, and I love the lining. Lining is everything, y'all. I told her that she should pick it. I told her she should pick the fabric. The show fabrics. Her, her choices. She's a designer too. Wait, y'all. This is it, and then I'm gonna go. You should have saw. She was like, "Yes." She. I think nothing more for a designer to actually make something new. Here, all of it starts to be the same because somebody make it and everybody make it and everybody sell it. So she it was. That was the beautiful part. Of being your real true self. She was so happy to have designed this. It's like, or 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 actually, I guess, created for me. Because it was something new and exciting. She needed a challenge too. She only come up with so many designs. Another thing too. Sometimes you design here, but you're designing for what you think who would buy it. And a lot of times, even Kwame say that. You have, you're an artist, even in the States. And you're doing what you think people would buy. You're, you know what I'm saying? But to be able to, to make, help make something that somebody else designed, not thinking of who would buy it. I was thinking y'all, you know, but I realize now I'm going to let the, uni of course y'all, but I'm going to let the universe decide as well. And just for even your, my seamstress, like, I mean, she's not seamstress now, but you have your seamstress design. You got to let them realize, no, honey, this is, I need my sketches back first. And these are my designs. So I got to make sure when you get dealing with other people that you ain't going to see this mass produced everywhere. First of all, um, no, it's not, but yeah, don't even worry about that. All right, y'all. I'm going to drink some tea. 
I'm gonna drink some tea and I'm gonna go to sleep. And I, I that's, that sandwich is just running through me like the soup. So I'm learning, I'm learning. I need to just mostly fast, mostly fast. Uh, Jai, Jai, Jai K, Mebin. Wait, I know Mebin is, your mom is a fashion designer. What you say, she never got a chance, go ahead girl, woo, to do. And a home decor designer, she truly is living through you. Amazing designs, amazing styles. You have my sister love, Jennifer. I thought that was you, Jennifer. Everything she said, it was already, my mom never got to show her stuff. How much does your seamstress charge per hour? She doesn't charge per hour, she charges per item. Port of Beauty 7. How many, how many have moved country, became a designer, and started a boutique? Will's lockdown during COVID-19, Zumba, you see it too. Like, is this not a story? It would kind of be nice, I think. You are not done yet. I am 50. Yes, thank you. I was thinking about it too. I was thinking to myself, like, you know what would be nice? To kind of shake it up a little bit on some of these, you know, you know we can talk about nobody specific, but, you know, to shake it up. We need girly stuff. We need fashion design. We need all of that. So, yeah, but yes, uh, you cover it all. What to wear for entertaining, serving, and going to funerals. Go ahead. First, the on bar, sheets, and now uh, curtains, don't forget to. Fashion for the home and more. Lisa's boudoir and more. I feel it. Yes. And you know what, y'all? Y'all know the, because what else do I love? I think about everything we watched me over the years on Amazon Home Decor. Y'all know I love tablecloths. And I was telling you, well, at least when I was going online, round tablecloths was almost impossible to find. And I found some that I just was buying what was available, but now I don't have to buy what's available. I can make what I want. The, the mats, there's somebody that makes the uh, placemats. The napkins. Table runners, I don't, I, I realize for me, I didn't even use them that much. I'm not as into table runners. So I, I'll see if I did, but at the same time, I just said that and one just popped into my head. That could possibly be, no, that's more like an apron. So I don't know if I'm going to do table runners. It's got to be true to me. And also, I'm going to do the curtain backs, the hold the curtain back. And I'm going to do the curtain rings. And I'm also going to do napkin rings. I, I would like to do napkin rings. That's going to be some carvings and stuff that's really beautiful. Whatever I really liked when we were, when I was back, and you know, we've been doing this together, whatever I really liked, I'm going to make sure that I do. It's that simple. Whatever I used to use or want to use or think is so great, like, remember, ooh, somebody's going to get my beautiful uh, hand-carved animal uh, napkin rings. They blessed. They got those. But I'm about to design something that I don't, it's going to be dope, and I don't even know what they're going to look like. I mean, I, I, it's just, this is quite endless. I mean, remember I talked about uh, B. Smith? I'm actually, and her style was Afro-Asian. I mean, mine ain't the Asian, it's African. And uh, to see myself designing furniture and home, Afrocentric home designs and more. <laughs> All right, ladies. And clothes. Clothes is coming. Like, I, I have not designed. Oh, I haven't really designed. Oh, I didn't know I didn't design an outfit. Well, I guess that wasn't my priority. Eventually, I'll design some outfits as well. Eventually. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for being here. It's a blessing for you. That's a word for us. Yes. Peace and blessings to know. How are you? Let me go back. Yes, your tablescapes are awesome. Thank you. Let me just go back. Uh, okay, I'll go, I'll go back to fourth, forward. Uh, oh, hey, only Funke says, Lisa, you're so on it, Mamita. I used to visualize what I wanted in my apartments and ask someone in the building who was a wonderful seamstress to sew it for me. I'm so loving all you're, all you're doing. Thank you. Follow that spark. Do what you like. Yes, Sanal Midasi. Do what you love. Thank you, Fly Books. That's a word for us. Thank you, darling. Let's see. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Peace and blessings, Queen Mother. Hey, Chinoa love. Hey, some more greetings and blessings to all. Hey, play this video back because the designs were in the beginning. I think you're going to love them. Yes, your tablescapes are awesome. Thank you. Naturally Clever says, well, if everyone, it, well, if every, even if someone tries to take a design, you just document your design and tape stamp it 
by posting on YouTube. You just so right. You are the originator. Oh, you so right. I just did that. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Life is creating. You cover it all. What to wear for entertaining, serving. I mean, I love reading that again and going to funerals. That's right. From the armoire, the sheets. I know. I keep forgetting, like, I did the sheets, the curtains. Woo, y'all. Just let's see what else is about to be birthed. Let's see what else. All right, lovely ladies. I'm going, I need tea. My belly is like, oh, please help me. And I'm allow it to. It's, stay, it's a stay, Melissa. It is. I used to go to the worldwide ebony fashion. Oh, fear in the 60s, yes. And since I've never seen anything this creative and beautiful, this is upscale. It really is. Oh, thank you, Life Creating. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, like, wow, like thinking the same thing. Did I just make something so. It's very elegant. And I mean, somebody that didn't even think they was into Afrocentric, it almost. You don't really kind of think it's, I mean, it's deep to me how the piece transcended even kind of Africa and what people think. I mean, really anyone, well, any of us, that's important to me, could wear this. Mm. Woo-hoo! All right, queens. I'll see you in the next video. I think I need to, like, I think I need to sit with this for a second and just say hallelujah. Give thanks and praises. Don't, okay, don't donate to Cash App, only to my PayPal. And I'll talk to you ladies soon. Let me take a moment. Peace and blessings.